Now here we are with the interior after I added a little bit of paint and bare metal foil. Now what I did is I glued the seats in place and I also glued down Eve. I didn't glue Adam because half of his arm is hanging over the side of the car. So he's going to be the last, well almost the last thing to go in. The steering wheel will be the absolute last. So let's just take a look at this up close. Now I also added the wheels on here and as you can see I painted that pie crest ridge with the semi-gloss black and I also painted in the gold on the wheel and put it all together. Now I had to make my own metal axles in here. That was 1 16th gauge rod that I cut into shape, filed the ends off to get rid of any burrs and added in some crazy glue and they roll really nicely. Now I did add in some bare metal foil up around the front on the seats and up over the back. And that was just for uh, ease of convenience. I did pinstripe in the chrome into the back along under that armrest, as well as the ashtray in there. Again, it went together really nicely. Now our door panels, I added in the chrome along the bottom here and then hand pin striped up around. This was tricky because that trim goes up like this and off. And then there's where the window cranks are. And I added a little black on the top. Same with the other side. That's to match the dashboard that now has the black padded top. And then I was looking at what it's like, the YouTube channel. My friend Jay there actually went inside one of these Cadillacs and was showing us this glove box door with the two dual ashtrays side by side. Again, a lot of chrome in this Cadillac, so it was a good reference to actually get the car together. Then we've also got our steering wheel here with the chrome ring on there. And again, really nice work. Now I'll just move this out of the way for a second because I want to focus on these interior panels. Now, on the car, there's actually these four holes inside the door. You will have to enlarge them a little bit in order to get everything to fit. And the other thing I did is I took my number 16 hobby blade and just kind of thinned down the sides of these pegs because they are a little bit fat and that will actually prevent them from sitting in the door nicely. So if I can just get this in here on film in this little take here. Let's see, it's a little tricky. But anyway, okay. The pins will line up and press into place now and up nice and tight up against where the door panel meets the body. And what's nice about these is they have a little hook underneath and when you pop your undercarriage in that hook actually goes up and around in here and there. And I'll have to paint those little dots right there and there with the semi-gloss black. That's from the bottom of the seat pins. Anyway, yeah, it holds it in really nice and tight just on those two little clips. And the whole undercarriage will stay in place and not fall out, which is really amazing for technology from the 50s, especially with this multi-piece body that we saw before.